Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. Today we have a little bit of a different background. I'm at the park. It's like really, really hot. So I don't want to be cooped up in the apartment. So, you know, I came out in nature and like, to be honest, this was like really impromptu. I mean, I brought my cards cause I wanted to play with them myself. I didn't intend on doing a reading. I didn't even bring a tripod, so just bear with me. It's gonna be really quick. I mean, I don't even have a power bank or nothing out here. Luckily, my battery is full, so um, I digress. So, I don't know, we're gonna see what comes out for you guys. This is just a random, impromptu reading, like I said. I made two, or I made six options for you guys. So, um, option number one, option number two, option number three, Option number four, option number five, option number six. Timestamps will be listed in the description box below. You can pick one or more options using your intuition. Um, and this is the deck that I made myself. It's a handmade deck, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But other than that, I guess I'm going to jump into the reading. All right. All right, so if you are drawn to option number one, let's take a look at what the cards have for you. We have strong and independent boss energy, not your babe, no BS, no fake shit, block button user. So a lot of you guys, it looks like you're stepping into this strong and independent energy, this boss energy. You're on some no fake shit, no BS. Um, I'm hearing you've had it up to here with people in their bullshit or with circum certain circumstances. You're ready to leave the past and leave the past behind, leave toxic people behind, leave situations that no longer serve you. Uh, you know, in the past, you're all about your money, all about. Your, I'm hearing you're in your bag. Some of you guys, you could be business owners or you have your own side hustle, or again, you're just all about your money. You're focused, or there's a need for you to step into this energy. And then to clarify, we have media, mass communication, viral. So something that you do is going to end up going viral, especially if you already do something in reference to mass communication. It could be in different formats. Some examples are um, with print. We have books, magazines, newspapers, television, movies, video games, music, cell phones, podcasts, radio, YouTube, online community, and spotlight. So specifically, if you already have like your own online community or you do something in reference to any of the, you know, what I just mentioned, I feel as though if you can stay focused on your focus, something that you've been putting your time, energy, and effort into, especially creatively, is going to go viral. Even if you don't do something in reference to mass communication let's say you you're like let's say you're a nail tech that's the random example you could be anything and let's say somebody notices your your art your nails and then they invite you onto their podcast to come and talk about nails or they, they you get a television interview like I feel like something that you do especially if you're like you own your own business or project i feel as though it's about to go viral or it has the potential to go viral so if you've been considering doing something spirit is saying the sky the sky is the limit get into this boss energy and make it happen specifically um you know if you have your own online community some of you guys i see you being in the spotlight for a job well done or something that you do all right so this is what i'm picking up for you guys um Normally, I pull charms, channel messages, but again, I'm outside, so <laughs> let me know if this made any sense, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Okay. So, if you were drawn to option number two, let's take a look at what the cards have for you. Ooh, we have abundance, money, 777, payments, finances, cash, value, profit, gain, increase, deposit, payday, jackpot money increase financial gain payment so some of you guys have money coming your way flat out point blank period some of you guys this could be in the form of some of payment some of you guys are getting physical cash some of you guys this could be in the form of you making some sort of profit or a good turn on investment some of you jackpot you could be winning money or gifted money but regardless of how this money comes to you there's definitely about to be some sort of financial increase and remember you know abundance comes in many forms maybe some of you if this doesn't happen to be monetarily this could be you getting a really good deal on something that you've been needing or shit, getting it for free or like spending time with friends and family or like i don't know but like specifically definitely money coming your way and this is clarified by okay 
very soon or close so some of you guys this money is coming to you very soon a.m p.m sunrise sunset and start length time cycle light dark coastline bay area some of you guys also random message some of you guys could be going to like the bay area or like close to a large body of water so rivers lakes I mean, it makes sense, especially if like you're in the U.S. This is I'm recording this in the summer. This is a, a timeless reading, so whenever you stumble upon this, it could resonate. But I definitely feel as though a lot of you guys are going to be spending time outside by the water. Some of you guys could be by a coastline or like in a bay area. We have ocean, sunny, warm place, the beach waves. The tide brings change. Change on the horizon very soon or close. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, I feel as though there's about to be a change um, when it comes to your finances, I, I feel as though you're about to, I'm hearing financial cycle. So let's say if you've been struggling financially, I'm hearing like that cycle is about to end for you very soon. Some of you guys are going to have the opportunity to um, make more money. Also, like, again, some of you guys are going to visit some warm or sunny place. Maybe this is through travel. Maybe you're going to end up getting some money and you're going to end up traveling to like some tropical or warm, sunny place. But ultimately, I feel as though there's about to be some sort of change on the horizon. And this change could happen very, very soon from whenever you happen to watch this video. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. 777. Let me know if this made sense. Um, like I told the other group, normally I pull channel messages and charms and all that. But again, I'm outside. So <laughs> something different. The breeze feels heavenly. I'll tell you that. But anyways, you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Okay. So we're on number three. So if you were drawn to this option, let's see. We have a place, indoors, location, business, storefront, gym, in person, establishment, building, property, work, school, institution, shop, mall, physical location, community, and neighborhood. Hmm. Some of you guys I'm picking up, you may end up meeting someone. And how you're going to end up meeting this person it, this person could be someone who will be significant to you in work or in business or even, I'm hearing friendship, but you're going to end up meeting this person as, at a physical location. So you're going to meet this person when you go somewhere. You could be at, a, at your work. You could be, you know, at, at the mall or in a store or in a restaurant or at school. Some of you, you may end up meeting this person um, at a physical location that's located in your neighborhood. Let's see why. 333 three, three, protect your energy some of you guys this person that you meet you're gonna have to protect your energy from this person so this is actually a warning it says change secure passwords protect your body mind and spirit keep an extra eye on belongings use discernment and if something or someone doesn't feel right it, it isn't so be careful if you meet be just i would be careful just stay away from new people because i feel like someone you're gonna meet they don't have good intentions some of you guys, you could be seeing three, three, three. Just stay away from people. I'm even hearing pickpocket. Maybe somebody will try to come up to you and like try to distract you and then try to steal from you. Or, or, or You know what I mean? So just be careful, whatever this may mean. Maybe this could be someone you already know that hits you up like, hey, let's meet up at the mall tomorrow or let's meet up at Applebee's random. Because <laughs> on our way to the park, we drove by Applebee's and they said they have new salads to come in and try them. And I'm low-key tempted, okay? So some of you guys, maybe somebody might invite you out to the gym or to a physical location. Spirit is saying, don't do it. Protect your energy, okay? If this made any sense to you, let me know. This could even resonate in the future. So just use your discernment. Keep your eyes open. Um, protect your energy. Protect your mind, your body, your spirit. And um, yeah, this is what I'm picking up for you. Let me know if this made any sense in the comments. I love you guys. Like I already told everybody else, normally I pull charms and channel messages. But I'm outside, so... Um, you can check out any of my other videos. But anyways, infinite abundance as always. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Alright, so if you were drawn to option number four. 111, alchemy, manifestation, ritual, skill, creativity, occult. And the shadow aspect of this, this can represent manipulation, fraud, fake, abuse of power, liar, scam, insincere, and just uh, disingenuous, if I can talk. Some of you guys, you need to be careful of any sort of manipulation and obviously be, you know be careful that 
or make sure that you're not manipulating others as well but I, I trust my viewers but for a lot of you guys i feel like you're in the manifestation stage or at least spirit is telling you that whatever it is that you need right now you have the potential to be able to bring it forth into your reality some of you guys with ritual, you need to do something consistently in order for it to be successful or in order for it to bring you what you want, right? Obviously, if you want to lose weight, you can't just work out one day and be like, okay, dream body. No, I mean, I wish, right? You got to do it consistently. And over time, you start to see the results. Same shit. Um, with skill, creativity, and occult. Some of you guys, you have a lot of skill and creativity, especially when it comes to metaphysics, you know, anything tarot and, you know, this just kind of right up your alley. Some of you guys could already be tarot readers, yogis. Like whatever it is that you do in a spiritual capacity or in a creative capacity, spirit is saying you're gonna you'll be able to manifest success for yourself or some sort of new beginning, but you're gonna have to be consistent. Don't give up essentially and use your occult knowledge to help you. So this could mean working with crystals to help you, working with your natal chart to see your purpose or figuring out how to work with the moon cycles to manifest you know stuff like that use your occult knowledge to your advantage we have fun games entertainment strategy player playing or being played it developer programmer artist animator producer entertainment industry some of you guys it's almost like i'm hearing you've been using like spiritual knowledge kind of just for fun maybe you listen to tarot readings and like you get really you gain really good insight or get really good advice from these tarot readings, but to you, it's just a game. So they're saying, you know, start taking some of this stuff seriously and you'll be able to manifest whatever it is that you want. Also, Spirit is saying, be str strategic in how you move. Don't get played. Um, open your eyes because remember I said something about manipulation, fraud, fake, abuse of power, liar, scam, insincere, and disingenuous, and then playing or being played. Don't get played and don't play yourself. Keep your eyes open. Use your use your discernment. Some of you, something about the entertainment industry, maybe you might get an opportunity to do something in the realms of entertainment. And this doesn't just have to be music. This could be anything in reference to animation or producing, editing, you know, even working behind the scenes or working behind the camera. For some of you, I'm even hearing FX. Some of you guys also have a potential to do anything techie, anything in reference to IT, coding, programming. Some of you are very artistic. Whatever it is that you do creatively, I feel as though you can, you're about to do something creatively online that's going to be very, very successful. But be careful that you're not getting played or you're not getting scammed or, you know, if something doesn't feel right, trust your instinct. Hmm. But yeah, for the most part, I feel as though some of you guys could be, whether you realize it or not, you're about to manifest a lot of fun and entertainment. I feel as though, especially if you've been stressed out, I feel as though there's about to be a period or phase in your life where you're going to have the opportunity to just let loose. Some of you guys, I see you enjoying nature. Look how beautiful the trees are. Pretty. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up for you guys. Random message. I hope you enjoyed. Infinite abundance as always. And you guys, see me in your next reading. All right, so if you were drawn to option number five, let's see what the cards have for you. Spiritual enlightenment, inner illumination, divine wisdom, crown chakra, clear channel, intuition, occult knowledge, common sense, mystery, calm exterior with inner passion. Okay, so first and foremost, someone in your energetic field has a lot of passion for you. Secret emotions, secret passions. It's like they play calm, but on the inside, they have a lot of fire, intense passion for you. For some of you, this could be a friend. Others of you, this could be a coworker. Some of you, this could be a friend of a family member I'm randomly hearing. So like, for example, maybe like your brother's friend or your sister's friend or your cousin's friend. For some of you guys, um, a family member's coworker is into you. I mean, you know, this is for a ton of people, so it can resonate differently, but someone around you has burning fire for you inside. Also, some of you guys, you're about to undergo some sort of spiritual enlightenment, which I'm picking up. Some of you guys, you're already very intuitive, highly spiritual. You could already be psychics, tarot readers, yogis. But I feel as though that is to going to the next level. Some of you guys are becoming an even more clear channel. And some of you guys, you already have this gift or capability, but you're now realizing it. You're going to be 
realizing that you have certain spiritual gifts that you didn't realize you had even if you already are into metaphysics and spirituality and divination you're going to so for example let's say you're you're a tarot reader you already know you're a clear audience but pretty soon you're going to realize that you can um you're clairvoyant as well or you're going to realize that you can see spirits or you can realize that you can hear them i don't know you're going to pick up on something new um I'm hearing new to you, old to me. So this is something that the divine already has in your blood. You're just now tapping into this. Also, some of you with inner illumination, I feel as though you're about to gain some sort of inner clarity. So there's going to be some sort of illumination. I'm hearing on a more of a personal level, a huge epiphany. Some of you with crown chakra, you're going to undergo some sort of crown chakra awakening. Use your intuition, you know, study as much as you can, study occult knowledge. Today I have over here, um, this is The Murder of Reality, Hidden Symbolism of the Dragon by Pierre Sabat. But yeah, you know, study, study, learn as much as you can. I also have this one, um, Zachariah Sitchin, The Twelfth Planet, about the Anunnaki. But I digress. You know, learn as much as you can. Um, research, 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 use your intuition and common sense. Some of you guys could be into mystery or you're about to, a lot of mysterious shit is about to start happening in your life. I'm hearing a lot of paranormal shit, but not spooky or anything that'll scare you or creep you out, but more so that'll just, I'm hearing thought provoking. It'll make you think and it'll exp expand your consciousness so that you can go out and help others expand their consciousness as well. Ooh, what did I tell you? To start off, didn't I say someone has burning fire, calm exterior with inner passion? On the outside, they seem calm like they're not into you. But on the inside, look at what you have. On the inside, this is them. 18 plus, sex, lust, passion, licking, slurping, sucking, kissing, attraction, crush, romance, intimacy. Two, two, two. So maybe for some of you, this could be your crush or this person has a crush on you. We have porn, nude, stripping, XXX, adult, fun, oral kinks freaky sexy naughty thoughts they have a lot of naughty thoughts about you they think you're very sexy with this number two for some of you i'm picking up this could be two people you have a crush yeah your crush is into you but not as much as this motherfucker <laughs> like this other person on the side is really really into you and some of you guys specifically if you've been seeing twos a lot um i feel like this message could specifically be for you so that's what i'm picking up for you guys let me know if you enjoyed infinite abundance as always and you guys will see me in your next reading all right, last but not least, if you were drawn to option number six, let's take a look at what the cards have for you. We have the law of attraction. This means that you are in alignment with what, with what you want right now. So keep your thoughts and your vibrations high. Take inspired actions to make your dreams and aspirations become a reality. Some of you guys, I'm randomly hearing people are going to try you or at least try to try you so that you can stoop to the level and bring your vibration down. And the moment you do that is gonna fuck up your manifestation. So it's important to ignore the bullshit, remove yourself from anybody who's low vibrational, anything that's low vibrational. Stay focused on your focus because you are literally in the final stages of your manifestation. What you seek is seeking you. To clarify, yeah, look, some of you guys, I feel as though um, Spirit is saying, just be happy. If you want to manifest, remain happy. We have indulgence, guilty pleasure, fun, gratification of desire, satisfaction, fulfillment, 777. So what did I tell you? You are in the final stages of your manifestation. And I feel as though you're about to have some sort of satisfaction or fulfillment, something that you've been wanting. Again, what you seek is seeking you. So whatever it is that you've been wanting, whether it's a person or a thing, it's coming your way. Some of you, I'm even hearing the lifestyle change. Some of you also can expect awards after hard work. Spirit is saying congrats and kudos are in order for you. Spirit is giving you a pat on the back and saying a job well done. So whatever it is that you've been giving your time, your energy, and your effort to is going to end up paying off for you. And I'm hearing the word immensely. So good job. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. So short, sweet message. You're in the final stages of your manifestation, 1111. Good luck with everything. Let me know if any of these messages resonated. Um, I thank you so much for your continued support. Infinite abundance, you guys. You'll see me in your next one. Bye. <laughs>